Well, with Windows 10 Creator Update, uh, the photo app has a new function. I've already done a video on how to edit your photos, but they've added a new uh, section. Besides being able to enhance, you can actually be able to draw on a photo. And that doesn't make any difference if you have a touch screen or not. You can use a mouse to do this. So uh, let's take a look and see how this works. So if we look up here at the default uh, icons we have up here, we have a ballpoint pen, a pencil, and a calligraphy pen. To tell you the truth, there's not much difference between uh, a couple of them, but let's uh, use the ballpoint pen first. First you click on it, and can you choose different colors to you do your drawing. So if I do that, I click and I just use my mouse to draw an arrow, a lousy arrow, but if I draw an arrow, that's what it looks like. If I use a pencil, and i got to pay attention, there's a very light pencil line there um, to do, so you can barely see it. Now you can go into any one of these tools and change the size, but you'll see that the pencil one is still a very light, uh, like a lead pencil kind of thing going on. Uh, and even if we change colors, you'll see that it's still very light and transparent almost. So uh, then we go over here to the calligraphy pen, and we'll go ahead and click on it and change uh, its color to blue. And if you see here and we draw, it looks very similar to the other one. Uh, I'm sure somebody that's a calligraphy expert uh, will like the difference. I mean, the ends are a little bit different. So let's go up the top up here and we go click into eraser mode. And you'll notice if I click on an item, I click on the segment that was drawn, not the entire thing. It's not like an eraser that you erase pieces of it. You, you erase that entire stroke. So let me put one back here so you can see a little better. Uh, I'll put some calligraphy back in here. The other edit erase function also has a erase all. If you click there, they all get erased. Now there's one more uh, editing uh, mode, and it's called touch writing. For those of you that have a uh, touch screen, you can use that. If you click on it, and you try to draw with your mouse, you'll see you don't. Now you can't see it, but I'm going to use my finger on the touch screen here, and you'll see I can do the same exact thing. Uh, as you normal. Now it didn't appear because I have to go back and select a pen again. So I did that and here I am uh, drawing with my hand, my finger. So it's considerably, you know, considering you can do this on a touch screen, you can do this on a tablet or on a phone. Now, I just clicked on the save button so it lets it creates a copy of your photo. So there's the copy. If I go back one, there's the original so you don't lose your original and you have a copy made right here. So I can use this tool in conjunction with the other tools, or the other editing controls that are covered I have in a different video. Uh, but you can do all that uh, combined with the drawing. Now if you're in a new photo that you created and you want to do some more editing, more drawing, you can do, go in here and do that. Or uh, more editing like changing the uh, brightness level and all that. You just have to remember that when you save this, it's going to make yet another copy of it that won't overwrite this one. It'll do that. Uh, so anyways, we can share it normally, you know, you can send it to Facebook, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And uh, if I don't want it, your delete controls are down here, your slideshow and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. It only deletes the exact duplicates of that photo. I still have my original uh, photo right here. So there you have it, Windows 10 Photo App with a new draw on your photo function. Now, besides touching up the brightness or other editing, you can also draw on your photos as well. All part of the new Windows 10 Creators Update.